Number. <laughs> Wait, we've got them in Barbados. We've got NAS. <laughs> right, introduce yourself. Uh, okay, well, hi. My name is Keenan Clark. I'm 21 years old, although I don't look 21. Yes, I'm 21. Yes, I'm 21. I'm 21 years old. Uh, what else was it? Oh, where you go to school? I, at, I go to school at the University of the West Indies, Mona. Yes. <laughs> right, first question. What made you study at Mona University? Um, that's a complex question. That's a complex question. Yeah, we got time. We got ten minutes. <laughs> <laughs> um, but short version. A change really. I started UE in Barbados first and I was doing meteorology and I just kinda realized this isn't what I really want. So I got the option to go and study overseas. Alright, what you think is the biggest myth that people think of people that are going overseas and study? The biggest myth about people going overseas and study? Yeah, like, you know. Oh, that you got enough money. <laughs> so you got enough money? <laughs> That's the biggest myth. Everybody like, oh, you're going to study overseas, you got money. Yeah, because they usually think so to like, anybody say they're going overseas, like... Oh, you got money. Give nah, no, 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 not necessarily. Like, you know. God's blessings and stuff. Like, and I didn't scholarship. Even know, and yeah, and then kind of thing, like I didn't even know that I was gonna get to go across when I did. So. Okay. Alright. What were some of your expectations going into university in Jamaica and were they met? Some of my expectations. I think my expectations was just to um enjoy the culture and to grow. Because I knew that being away from home was gonna cause me to mature and I had to do a lot of stuff that I didn't really have to do at home to the level that I had to do it. So then when I went across, I was just like, oh, okay. And I did, like, I really did enjoy the culture and so on and so forth. So I think that has been met. All right. What is the hardest thing about studying in a different country? Um, <laughs> um, I would say the hardest thing about studying in another country is simply just being away from home and getting accustomed to, um, to like, the difference in a culture, really. So, you're not home, so you don't really have your support system or the people that you become accustomed to to really depend on that you guys kind of rebuild that. And then when it's not that, you gotta be listening to Jamaican lecturers and then talking and you can't understand nothing. And you like, oh, right. you can repeat, please. Right, which would bring me to my next question. Having lived in Barbados and being used to one way with the people, the places, etc., you would say that you had a cultural shock when you went to Jamaica? 110 percent. 110 percent. I mean like to simple things like I would say what going on and somebody would be like what's, what's what's going on? And then they would look at me and they'd be like what going on? And I'm like And like I know in theory what that means but then you hear what going on and it then like there's a whole set of things or even worse somebody come up to you like why pre? What? Yeah, like somebody coming to you like why pre? Like why pre? Or what somebody I mean? I had somebody coming to me like, um, yo, like, as, cause I had a nickname, so my nickname was like Socks. So somebody would be like, yo, Socks, why are they upon? And I'm like, what? What do you mean, why are they upon? And then somebody had explained to me, they're asking me what I'm doing. What are you doing? Okay. <laughs> that was the answer. Alright, next question. What life lesson did you learn from studying away and living overseas? I would say I would say patience and I would say I would say patience, like literally. Like understanding that like everything not gonna happen in this time and for certain things. Like especially like trying to understand the culture and trying to get accustomed. Like if you go away to study, don't expect you can get everything one time. Like don't expect that like yo like you can just get it and you can just, you know, that pop to or wherever you go you can just roll off you tell I mean even I don't sound good thing back when I make that because as a Beijing, I don't try to speak Jamaican, like that's just how it is. Mm -hmm. So I think that was probably Alright. People usually say when you study overseas or you change as a person, would you say that that's true and have you changed as a person? I think that's facts. That was like life in general. Like you stay here, you go to school, you go to school elsewhere, you're gonna change. It's a part of okay. growing up and maturing. I would say 
um, living overseas forces you to mature a lot faster than some of your peers because you have to do things that they don't have to do. Living on your own and stuff. Yeah, you gotta pay bills, you gotta clean your Wait, room. Wait, you gotta pay bills? Yes, gotta make sure that my rent starts to open, but you don't start to open. What? I thought that was like, okay. Yeah, you gotta deal with them things yourself. You just gotta deal with them things yourself. Okay. You are a PR officer. Tell mm -hmm. us about that role and what that is. Okay, well, I am um, currently I don't know if they can take it right, you know, eh. but I am the currently I am the public relations officer of the Irving Hall on the University of Mona. The yes, the Irving Hall University of Mona campus. Um, public relations officer basically means that I deal with um, select like promotions of events and building relationships between the hall and outside entities and so on and so forth. So. I cover events, I make sure the events are covered and stuff like that. So that kind of falls in line with the stuff that I like to do, which is like um, photography and editing and stuff like that. Okay. Alright, so I have a little challenge for you. So, you have to answer these questions for me as quickly as possible. Uh -huh. And these are all related to on campus, so mm -hmm. favorite place to chill? On hall. Best place for food? Spot. <laughs> Worst food place. Wait, 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 no, not spot, not spot, not spot, not spot. You are not, not spot. Welfare, welfare, welfare. Worst food place. Behave. <laughs> Bruh. All right. Fastest Wi-Fi spot. Ah, carry on. Hardest exam. Uh, what was my hardest exam? Clearly, it wasn't that hard if you can't remember. Nah, uh, that's exactly, that's what it was hard. I tried to forget about it. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know, man. That was probably intro to poetry. That's probably mine. That was probably one of my hardest. Worst experience? Mm, ordering food. Funniest moment? Oh, that's hard. That's really hard. Um, funniest moment? I would say when I was on haul with some of my flatmates and we were singing um, I Want It That Way by Bad Street Boys and somebody hamburger in the oven catch a fire. That was the funniest thing. What would you say is the loudest place on campus? Um, if there's an event going on, student union. Quietest place. Library. What advice would you give to anyone that is interested in studying overseas? Um, I would say like focus on three things I would be like number one <laughs> number one is to remain I would say remain connected to people at home um, especially when you're at home because like there's a the tendency to just want to slip <laughs> when you're overseas so I would say definitely stay connected to your family if you go to church stay connected to your church family and stuff um, find some place to fellowship if you do if you are um, but I would say definitely connected to your, stay connected to your family um Carry food from home. Carry food. Carry if you if you be then carry eclipse biscuits, carry Moby. Anything that you know you that can you can take Moby to the airport that's like where you can't sit you got put on your suitcase and wrap it up. Yes, I just oh. carry Moby from both here. You put your suitcase? Yes. Oh, Cause then you can't take no liquid. I just food. put Moby, they like, put seasoning. Like they don't sell eclipse biscuits in Jamaica. They don't sell jam puffs in Jamaica. That, but you can't take jam puffs. How long are they gonna last? I ain't kidding. I want jam puffs. They don't make jam puffs in Jamaica. Jamaica is not. That's not like. A, that's not like them thing. They don't call it jam puffs. They just call it sandwich. So it ain't jam puffs. Carry your stuff. Carry your stuff. Carry your biscuits. Carry your cheese. The black cheese in Jamaica. Them is eat tasty cheese. New Zealand cheddar is expensive. Carry your own cheese. Carry your own food. Trust me when I tell you, my first semester I went down and I had nothing and I was going through Moby withdrawal. Carry your stuff. That was one thing. Carry food. Carry food. Like, carry food for you. Like, from home. I'm guessing that this is a touching topic. <laughs> when you had to eat water crackers, no offense to, you know, my friends and them crackers, but Eclipse Biscuits is life. And to not have Eclipse Biscuits for almost four months and the Moby. And the, the beach and seasoning. Guys, thank you for watching. Sorry for the noise. I'm gonna edit out as much as possible. But when it comes up, the neighbor we got allow the neighbor to be great. If in summer he won't get this nice driveway thingy that he's doing, so we can give it to him. But thank you. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and follow all of my social media. Bye, guys. Uh, yeah. so we are